Hi, I'm Chris Cardone. I work at the Beatrice Inn, and I'm going to teach you how to do a flip to a pour bottle trick. The so most important thing is how to finish your flare routine. You're doing all sorts of stuff, bottles are going all over the place, everyone's sitting there like this watching everything you're doing all in awe. How do you finish? How do you pour the bottle? The last thing you want to do is do all this crazy stuff and then just take the bottle and go like that. It's anticlimactic. It doesn't work. So what we want to do is we want to learn how to flip the pour. So what you're going to do is you're going to hold your bottle in what's called a bartender grip. Instead of holding it like this, we're going to hold it by the neck just like a bartender would take it out of a bottle or out of their well. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our bottle, we're going to take our tin, the mouth's going to face up because that's what we're going to pour it into, and we're going to take our bottle and you're going to snap it outward away from your body. And what you're going to do is as soon as you let go of your bottle, you're going to simply open your hand and the bottle's going to fall right back into it. So it looks like this. It's really easy actually. It's a one rotation. You're just going to snap open and let the ball, bottle fall into your hand, it's already in a pouring position. Now with your other hand, you can have your tin set here, ready to go. So you're going to flip, catch, and you're already pouring the bottle. Then as you get more and more comfortable, you go to glass with liquid in it. Again, with, because we're flipping the bottle, centripetal force is involved, so we want to make sure that the bottle has less than two ounces, or two ounces or less. Any more than that, this move can't be done. We have to figure out a different way to pour. Maybe we can take the bottle and throw it around our head, but in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to take our bottle, our tin, we're going to set it, we're going to flip, and we're going to pour. When you're done, you bring your bottle down to cut the pour, and then we're going to just put our tin or on the bar. If we're doing shots, maybe we'll pour it straight from a tin into our glass. So you, again, just to reiterate the concept, we're going to take our bottle, we're going to put our tin here, we're going to flip our bottle, catch our bottle, pour. When we're ready to stop, we're going to simply bring our bottle down. We're going to pour it into our glass or whatever we're pouring it into. And that is how you do a bottle flip to a pour.